Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, and we are in episode four. We're going to talk about suit, uh, appearance, makeup, hair, all the things that really bring the final touches to your stage aesthetic in this series, uh, winning your final contest. And we talked last time, speaking of posing, Adam, that this may be an opportunity with your final show, you've got a couple under your belt this year, to work on some things differently, test some things out. And I remember a client one time, you know, asking other people, like, should I wear hair extensions? Should they be this long or this long? Like, what's the look? Uh, Can you even possibly win if you have super short hair, like shaved on one side? And, you know, suit color, people are always asking that. Clients are constantly sending me photos of two different colors of suits, asking me what's, you know, the best thing to do. So in terms of experimentation, uh, for a final contest, I, I don't think you necessarily want to just change everything because some things are working for you. But is this a good spot to really maybe roll the dice on something new, Adam? I think as long as it's not a national contest, I think you can do some more risky things. Uh, but there's so much technology now that we didn't have when I first started coaching. So my girls can actually uh, do like a, a Photoshop app where they can put a color on their current body as long as they fix the hair the way that they want it, for the most part, we can kind of predict what that look will look like. Now, stage lighting's the variable there because that can definitely change some things, but that makes a huge difference. And you can actually kind of experiment and Photoshop those different colors on you and mm-hmm. really see how they look. Mm-hmm. I remember listening to a seminar before a contest and a makeup artist uh, was really funny because I, I would not know these things, but she said, you know, very dramatically, and oh my gosh, don't you ever, ever coordinate your, your eye color with your fingernail color, you know, or this or that, and talking about like your face tone. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm aware that that some people would look at those stylistic components as important, but uh, how much do you think the judges are really paying attention? I mean, you're, you're getting an overall facade but mostly it's your physique. Um, you know, have you talked to judges at that national level and said, man, how, how much does this really factor in? Yeah. And, you know, that's what's great. They're always willing to share information. And, and Sandy always alludes to it's the overall package, the overall look. So, you know, she'll usually comment on your hair and makeup. And I've actually had girls be told that their makeup wasn't great and and it was pretty bad you know so they're going to mention that now i don't think they scored them a whole lot lower but i think it was you didn't get a pro card because of this you were fourth or fifth maybe and you know that that's just something that you know use a different makeup artist or try something a little bit different you know if you I always let the makeup artists do their work because there really is a, there's an art to that and they're going to make you look the best. Um, Sometimes people get ideas and they say, I want this, you know, and that's sometimes where you can go wrong. So I usually just let the makeup artists do their best work. I I think there's something to be said for bringing some novelty as well. Uh, it, there, there is a bit of attention paid to somebody who does something different. Even if, even if you're kind of a known person, let's say you're just naturally blonde and you dye your hair black for this particular show. Uh, I've seen women do that. It's like, wow, that is like, you look so different. It's hard to even recognize you. And I think that kind of does shake the lineup up a bit because people look at you differently. They're trying to figure it out. I've seen guys who, you know, wear a mohawk or do something, you know, very, very unique and, and it just presents, I don't know, you know, some kind of an entertainment value where it, it makes people smile. And, and I would think that affects the judges a little bit. Like, wow, this person's got some personality. They're willing to risk a little bit. Um, I, I can't say that I've ever coached people that, that deeply on aesthetic, like, hey, let's try this. Um, but do you have clients who ask for your opinion? They do. And, and you know, I usually narrow it down to two and (laughs) what do you like best out of these two options because at the end of the day i want them to not feel so robotic and having to follow what i say and uh, you know if they pick something they're happy with i think they're going to be happiest in the long run now another good thing to talk about is changing suit color for your last show just because you're going to get different photos. So it might be nice to have a different color suit to post your photos on, but 
again, be, be smart about the colors you pick, talk to your coach, um, sample some designs with the Photoshop app and just uh, use your best judgment. Yeah. And uh, from a guy who shaves his head and wears the same t-shirt every day, I'm clearly not the guy who's going to give the best style advice, but as I've told my clients, I can at least give you a perspective that could be equally useful, which is as somebody who's not an expert in those aesthetics, I can tell you what I feel as a layman. And that's, that's one good piece of information, but I would definitely contrast that with people who, who really know that, that part of the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And I would say one more point is just because you like a color doesn't mean that's the color you should wear. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. All right, guys, we got one more episode. We're going to wrap this up with episode five coming up. We're going to talk about mindset for your final show. So we will see you next time in Contest Prep University.